I'm making a new game, again, and I need you to help me shape it. Leave comments below with your ideas on how I can make this game better, and I'll add the ones I like into the game. Stick around to the end and I'll show you how I'm creating button combos for characters in the game too. In this devlog series, I want to document the making of my new game. I've given the project a working title of Four Ninjas because, well, there are four characters and my creativity has clearly taken the day off. The basic premise of the game follows on from my last devlog idea and takes inspiration from the original Turtles game on the NES. I love how that game allowed you to switch between characters mid-level. Each character had their own attacks, secondary weapon slots and health bar. I really want to incorporate this feature into my game. I also want to add interactivity into the game, giving the player choices but I don't know what that will look like at this stage. I currently have all of the players designed but not yet polished and only one of the characters has its full set of animations completed. I also need name ideas for the four characters. I'm thinking of naming them in honour of some of the video game characters I loved growing up back in the 90s. Like Jimmy and Billy from Double Dragon. Ken from Street Fighter, Fox from Star Fox, Sonya from Mortal Kombat, or maybe Simon from Castlevania. But I'm open to suggestions. Maybe I'll name them all after some of my Patreons. Speaking of which, and before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, Fuzel CC, Retro Galaxy, Olivia Bernier, Amara Lewis, Enmark Games, Tor Hammock, Alexanderson, Rob, Jared Dumont, Lighting Cat, Martin K, Julian Cruz, Raul San Gonzalo, 60 Plus Game Dev, and Nathan Wilson. Thanks very much for supporting the game dev journey, and for more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there is a link in the description. I started by creating a global variable that will track which is the active player. I then made a simple square sprite that I called the player base. This sprite will control all of the movement mechanics. I'll create the actual character sprites separately, put them in a family, and set the family's position to equal the player base sprite every tick. Then I just need to set the appropriate character visible based on which character is active. I use the number keys 1 to 4 to switch between players, but this will likely change to a pause menu that gives you the option instead. When creating character controls, I put all the movement logic in a sub-event under a boolean variable called hurt. This way I can easily toggle the ability to move and control the character based on whether they are taking damage or not. I like to spend a lot of time on getting the feel of the player character right before moving on, as this is a key part of the game's enjoyment factor. I also use state to control which animations should play at any given time. I find this gives me greater control over what is happening in the game. It's really important for me that this game has button combos. I want the characters to perform two or three attack moves in a row if the button press timing is correct. I really enjoyed the arcade beat-em-ups like The Simpsons and Final Fight that use these mechanics. To create this in Construct 3, I've used timers. I set the timer to start when the first attack is triggered, and if there is another button push while the timer is running, I tell the system to play the second attack animation. It's a little janky right now, but I'll be working on making it much tighter over the coming weeks. I created a simple enemy that runs in from the right. I've given them the line of sight. If they have line of sight to the player, they will stop and perform a basic punch attack. If they lose line of sight, they will stop attacking and continue to run. The inspiration behind this enemy came from the game Kung Fu on the NES. Although very simple, it was hugely satisfying taking out wave after wave of enemies. I expect I'll be ripping the knife throwing enemy from this game too at some point. Well that's about as far as I've got so far. If you want to see if I actually finish this game then perhaps subscribe so you don't miss future updates. Now if you've got this far and enjoyed the video perhaps you'll like these videos too.